Um, hi. Hey. Uh, awkward. Um, I actually just did this whole huge video thing, and then my camera shut off, and I realized that, uh, my SD card was in my camera, so I had to do it all again. Um, I know I haven't made a video in forever, and, um, my last video that I did make was probably kind of confusing to you guys because it didn't really make a lot of sense. What it actually was, I'm explaining it right now, is that, um, it was kind of a request video from my friend who lives in Ohio. I live in New York. And I described this place to him um, that's near where I live. It's like a, a an abandoned like mental facility complex kind of place. It's, it has a lot of creepy stuff going on in there. And I described it to him, and what he wanted me to do was take a video of it and put it on YouTube. So I did that, and I don't think a lot of you really understood it. But it was like, I don't know. It wasn't really a, an official vlog or whatever, I just did it for fun. Um, so that was that, and so it's been quite a while since I've actually vlogged or whatever, and I have a few things um, that I wanted to show you today, things I wanted to show off, some of my favorite things right now in the world. I guess I could start with these two gems, which I picked up recently, and um, like-minded people will instantly get what this is, but I'm probably going to have to explain it anyway. Um, I found these recently at a GameStop. I found them a couple days ago. Phoenix Wright, the first two Phoenix Wright games, they're extremely rare, and um, you can't find them anywhere. I have been looking for like a year for these games. And for those of you who do not know, Phoenix Wright is like a, um, a game where you play as a lawyer, which is really weird, I know, but you're like a defense attorney, um, and what you have to do is you get cases, there's five cases in the game, you get them, and you have to do a lot of investigating and gathering evidence, and then you have to go to a trial in which you have to prove your client's innocence through, like, logic and trying to use the evidence against the, um, the prosecutor and things like that, and it's actually super fun. I have been playing a lot of the first one, and, um, the cases and are, are th things like that are, like, really long, but they're really interesting, so. Don't expect to find it at GameStop, I'm just gonna tell you right now. If you go on eBay, you might, you might have to pay, like, 30 or 40 bucks for one of them. Um, but if you can find it at GameStop, definitely pick it up. It's only 13 or 14 dollars at GameStop. It's definitely a cool game. Um, switching gears a little bit, I wanted to show you some other stuff that I got recently that's like awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, I have come across a fairy artiste. Um, she does a lot of art for like of uh, fairies and um, mythology, uh, goddesses, angels, that kind of thing. Mostly fairies though. And her name is Jessica Galbraith, and she is incredible. I can't even begin to describe. I picked up an art book of hers, The Enchanted World of Jessica Galbraith, and it is like my muse. This is inspiring me to like start drawing again and, you know, everything. And it's just, it's incredible, really, her use of color and, and everything is so flawless and I just can't get over her. She's just amazing. She really is. Um, her site, EnchantedArt.com, I'll put it down there. Uh, it has a lot of things there. It's not just prints, but she also has figurines of her fairies and things. She has um, cameo necklaces that she custom makes, little journals, uh, silk pouches for carrying things in, just everything. She has so many arts and crafts she does. She's on Etsy as well, so I'll link to her Etsy if I can find it. Um, it's oh God, she's amazing, and um, she's going to be at FairyCon, which is in Baltimore, the first week of November. I wish I could go, but I don't think I'm going to be able to go to Baltimore. <laughs> I wish I could go. She has a convention for, like, all different fairy things, and that's so awesome. So, check her out, definitely. She's incredible. Um, second thing, along a similar path, is, um, this, which is, uh, Yoshitaka Amano's art book of things like fairies and fairy tales and Shakespearean type art and it's very cool. Um, Yoshitaka Amano is, if you do not know, <sighs> wow, how dare you, no, I'm kidding. Yoshitaka Amano is the guy who did the concept art for Final Fantasy 1 through 6 and now he mostly does the um, logo work for all the Final Fantasies including um, 
I believe, the upcoming ones as well, um, 13 Verses and 13 Agito. He's really cool, and he, his um, work is very, very vibrant and very colorful. And um, it's very literally sketchy. He, does, he doesn't, like, go over anything with a dark pencil at all. It's very, um... It looks unrefined, yet that's his style. And, you know, you got to appreciate it for what it is. So, Yoshitaka Amano is amazing. Um, another thing that I recently got that's awesome is um, Halloween is coming up in, like, a couple weeks. And so I picked up this, which is my costume. Ah, it is a fairy, of course. This is a theme. Um, it is uh quite quite it's purple and blue and um black and white striped and has wings and the whole lot and doesn't come with the wig unfortunately but I have a little clip of purple hair that is going along the side here to go with it. And it's really pretty. Really like you can see it's very iridescent, shiny material. Love it. Got it at um Spirit Halloween. They have a whole collection of fairy costumes based on Amy Brown's um, artwork, who is a, my first favorite fairy artist ever. She's really, really famous, really well known. Um, and so I picked one up. It was like 40 bucks. But um, I gotta warn you, if you are gonna look into these Amy Brown costumes, they do run small. Um, I would normally take a small in their costumes, but I should have to go up to a large because their costumes are so um, tiny. Uh, so, it, but it's definitely, like, a very well-made costume, and can't wait for Halloween, because I'm going to be the prettiest fairy ever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. The thing about fairies is I've always loved them ever since I was young, and, um, there's just something about them that captivates me. It's, um, kind of an obsession of mine. I have, like, a small collection of fairies on my shelf. Fairy figurines, not actual fairies. I wish, but... <laughs> and so I love fairy art, and I love... Yeah, you know, like artists like Amy, Amy Brown, and Jessica Galbraith, who can really like bring them to life. It's amazing to me. So, yeah, those are some of my current favorites. In case you were wondering. Um, also to my uh, subscribers, I know I told you I sent out a message saying that um I was going to sing for you guys this week, make a singing video. Um, I just didn't get around to doing it. It's not that I forgot or whatever. I know what song I'm doing, but um, I just didn't get the time. I had kind of a busy week and a busy weekend. When I was planning to do it, I didn't get to. So I made this instead because it's just quicker and I don't have to prepare, whatever. I just kind of did this randomly. But I will still do it. Um, probably I'm going to shoot for this week, but no promises because you know how I am. Very inconsistent. <laughs> Sorry. But yes, please... Um, I'm loving how many, you know, how much support I'm getting, how many comments I'm getting recently. I love you, my subscribers, and I really hope that you stick around because I will still be doing singing videos for you and blah -de blah whatever. Um, I'm going to put some links down there for you to check out, and yeah. I hope I make a new video soon for you guys. Okay, bye. <laughs>